beautiful people my name is Jean and welcome back to my channel so what I want to talk about is the people you should avoid if you want to live your best life yes so listen up everybody needs this let's say for instance you made the decision that I need to reduce my weight too so I want to start going to the gym when you start working out, let me start with workout first. When you start working out, here are the people that you need to avoid. The first is those friends or frenemies that always greet you by saying, Ha! Huh, see as you don't fat finish. Avoid those people. You know those people that make it sound like they're giving you a compliment when they when they call you fat or when they call you ah see, see, don't, ah you don't turn a rubble. They make it sound as if it's 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 compliments, like they're saying you look beautiful, you look healthy. Why can't you say you look beautiful? Why can't you say ah you're looking you're looking healthy or you're looking fine? Why do you have to tell me ah you don't turn a rubber finish you? When you are starting something like let's say a workout you just started going to the gym when you see people like that coming from here follow the other road you see them coming from here follow the other side you don't need to interact with them these are the people that will make you question your goals that will make you question ah are you sure this gym that i'm going is working are you sure this new diet i'm trying is working ah, it's not that everybody is telling me i'm fat most times they are not fat, but they already know how it makes you feel when they say those things to you. They already know that once they say that, it will, it will kill your morale. It will kill your. It makes you. It, it makes you too self-aware. Makes you self-conscious. They already know that that's what will happen. Maybe you come out bouncing, you know, feeling all self-confidence and all that. And then they see you and they make this comment and you start questioning everything. You even start questioning, Abby, is this clothes I'm wearing that is making me fat? Avoid those people. Avoid them by all means. Even, if, when, even when they call you on the phone, people that can hear your voice on the phone and say, ah, you sound fat. Ah, see your voice, see your rubber voice. How about? Avoid those people. By all means, avoid them. Don't have interactions with them. If you can't avoid them, if let's say you're working together, you can't run away now, you can't leave your job because of them, or you live in the same house, you can't pack out because of them. If you must face them, look for something in them too. Something in them that they are conscious of. And people like that, people that always make people, other people self-conscious, they are the ones that have plenty of things that you can comment about. Yes. If we're going to be petty, let's be petty. Let all of us be petty. Haba. Or just come out straight, straight up and tell the person, Haba, which one is I'm fat? Why are, you, why are you calling me fat? Or if you don't have that time, just shun them straight up. Don't call me fat. I don't find it, I don't find it funny. I don't find it nice. I don't find it friendly. Don't call me fat. Or don't call me, don't call me horrible. My name is Jane. Say, ah, how are you doing, Jane? If you don't have any compliment to pay me, shut up. Hmm? Don't you don't have to be all all over the place. Right? So avoid them. If you can't avoid them, tell them straight up. Or if you're petty or you're feeling petty, look for something they're self-conscious about and mention it to them. Let all of us be stupid. So that's one. Number two, if you're starting a business. Or you're about to quit your job for another job the people you need to avoid by all means are negative people see those people that do not see what you see that do not believe in you there's no need for you to convince such people you don't have to be saying and eh, look I'm, let me explain don't explain they will not understand it if you've told somebody what your dream is or your goal is or you know the business you want to start that you've done your research about you know that you can do it and they still don't think you have what it takes 
Avoid those people. Avoid them, please. Anybody that does not believe in you, does not believe in your goals, that does not believe in your ability, does not have the right to see it happen. Yes. So if you've done your due diligence, I mean, there's a very big difference between somebody worrying about you and somebody telling you downright straight up that you can't do it. These are two, two different things. If you're worried about me and you're, and you're worried that I haven't done as much as I should have done before starting a business, point me in the right direction. Show me what it is you feel like I need to do or I need to learn or I need to know before I go into it. And then I know that you sincerely care about my well-being. Not you telling me, ah, you, you want to start sewing? Ha. You cannot sew. Is it not this hand that I'm seeing? How can you use this, your big, big hands to sew? <sighs> Avoid those people. Those people that would pick, you know, pick, pick, pick things and just poke you, poke you, poke you in places that makes you question everything about yourself. Avoid those people. Now, when you're looking for a life partner, these are the people you should avoid by all means necessary. You see those people that give advice based on gender, based on religion, or based on tradition or based on their mother, their father. Those people that cannot be unbiased when they advise you or when they comment on your relationship. When you are trying to settle down or you're cutting somebody and it's serious, these are the people you should avoid by all means. Yes, avoid them. Avoid them. Nothing good will come from those people. If it's somebody in your family and you cannot avoid them, try to tell them as less as possible. That is if you tell them at all about your relationship. Anybody that will not give you a constructive advice, anybody that will not give you advice that will, that will make you learn, anybody that will not tell you the truth, avoid them. You don't need to know what is happening in your relationship. So, I mean, there are so many other people, so many other people that you should avoid, depending on what you're going for in your life. You want to go back to school. Let's say you dropped out at a certain age, or you were in school, then you, something, some, you ran into some issues and you had to drop out. And now you're in your 30s and you want to go back to school. <laughs> I think you already know the kind of people you should avoid. There are people that will tell you, going back to school in your 30s is stupid. When they believe that at that age, what you should be after is settling down. Whether you found somebody, they feel like if you, you wanting to go back to school is the reason you haven't found anybody to settle down with. Avoid those people. Avoid those people. Avoid them. So basically, to conclude this video so it doesn't go on and on and on, when you want to start something new, when you want to do something different from what you've been doing, or when you want to be great in life, look around you. It's not everybody around you that will be happy for that decision, that will be happy for you for that decision. It's not everybody that will encourage you. If you're looking for encouragement when you start something new, and you're looking for that encouragement among your friends, your family, your your landlord, your neighbors, people closest to you, there's a very high chance that you will not get it from those people. And the reason why it hurts when we don't get this validation, I'll call it validation from these people, is because we hold them at a very high esteem. They mean so much to us and we want to mean as much to them as well, right? So when that doesn't happen, it makes us feel like we're not worthy. It's a liar. You're worthy. You're worth it. Yes. The fact that the people around you, your immediate, the closest people to you cannot see you for who you really are, does not mean that you are not the person you are. Does not mean you lack ability. 
does not mean you are less does not mean you're not worthy does not mean you're not beautiful because you are the only thing that matters is what is going on in your head what you've determined what you're determined to do and like starting a business or doing like if at anything you want to do in life any new thing that you want to do in life make sure you have all the information or at least the necessary information to start before you start sorry make sure you have all the necessary information before you start that way you're prepared you know what you're going into even though as, when you enter into it you'll be learning as you're going or make sure that you have the right idea you're going in with the right mindset because there'll be people standing by waiting for you to fail there'll be people rooting for you day and night for you to fail don't prove them right but it doesn't matter let's not take away the essence of this video because the whole point of this video is for you to know that there's nothing you set your mind to that you cannot do regardless of what people around you think or whatever it's nothing you set your mind to that you cannot do. Will it be easy? No, it will not be easy. But can it be done? Yes, it can be done. It depends on you. What you decide. So your success, your beauty, your health, your future, your happiness does not depend on another person or another person's view or another person's idea of you no all these things depend on you yourself and you it doesn't depend on any other person but you so but because we're human beings there are things that happen there are you know just like i said earlier because we care about these people we care about their opinion if you know that this that somebody's opinion somebody in your life that their opinion is going to make you not do what you know that you can do avoid them if you're starting a new business and you cannot avoid that friend you know is negative if you can't avoid a friend i mean i, I would say avoid a friend but if you can't avoid a friend try to say as less as possible or don't even talk at all anybody you know that if they hear this thing now they don't they don't believe in you enough to encourage you to do something you know within you that you can do. Don't get them involved in that aspect of your life. If they must be in your life, fine. It's even way worse when it's your partner. When it's your partner that does not believe in you or it's your partner that feels like even if you go to the gym from today till next year, you will still be you will still not be the 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 person that you want to be or you still not have the body you want to have it's a very terrible thing for for a partner to think or to to feel about the person he or she is with because you can take jabs you can take the blows from the whole world right but you can't come back home and still have to take blows from the person you love but let's say for instance that's the case Obviously, you can't avoid your partner, right? Or, or if you can, <laughs> if you can, by all means, avoid that partner. But let's say, for instance, you can't avoid the partner and you you don't have a choice. It's not something you can hide because they will see you going to the gym or they will see you going to start going to your store or you know, planning your business and stuff is way more difficult when it's a partner that you share your life with. Which brings me to these are the things that you look for in a person when you are trying to settle down. But that is a video for another day. So let me come back to what I'm saying. So let's say, for instance, is your partner and you can't avoid your partner. So what will you do? What to do? This will take more from you because you can't stay away from them. You can't hide your progress from them. This will take more from you because now you have to be strong for two. You have to be strong for yourself and you have to be strong for your partner. You have to be able to take all that criticism and not let it get to you, which can be very difficult. But how do you get past that? Having a support system outside your partner 
I'm not saying go and find another man no, or go and find another woman out there that will believe in you. Please, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. It can be your friends, your girlfriends, right? It can be your sister. It can be your mother. It can be your father. Anybody, I believe everybody in this life should have at least that one person. Because I believe in life, everybody should have at least one person. That one person you know is your support system, is your... That one person you know would never judge you or would never think less of you, no matter what. If you have people like that in your life or you have that one person, you have one person in your life like that, please appreciate that person. Because that support system is very crucial to your mental health and your well-being. So if you have a partner that is not... You know that is not a good partner that is not maybe i mean them not encouraging you or not believing in you or not believing in you i don't know whether that makes them a bad partner because obviously you're, you're with them for some reasons and now you know last last me i don't know what i'm saying basically is if your partner is your stumbling block then you need to when 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 it, for you to be able to, to survive the criticism and keep going you need to be able to have a support system outside whether it be it your friend your sister or whoever and that's the person that you can be vulnerable with you can talk to and when this person beats you down this person can lift you up if you have that kind of partner it's a problem but i'm not the one that will tell you whether it's a problem or not but i feel like when you're when you're trying to do something when you're trying to be great in life be it whatever that you want to do might be small might be big there's nothing in life that is not as long as you make a decision to be better than you were yesterday it's a big deal it's a big deal so when you want to do that avoid the negative you need to avoid the people that are not in the same mindset, that are not in the same energy level as you. Avoid them and lean towards the positive vibes, encouragement, the motivation and stuff. You know, I mean, it goes a long way. It goes a long way because you hear these things every day and to you, you might think it's not that big a deal or I just brush it off. But the truth is, it has its effect. It does. So, thank you guys for watching this video and watching it till the end. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos. I really appreciate you guys. And please, if this is your first time watching my videos, this channel is interesting. And you will enjoy being part of us. I promise you. Honestly. So, please hit the red subscribe button. And turn on notifications so you know when I drop new videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.